Hey everyone, we're talking today. Is it a report or is it a dashboard? And what is the difference specifically in Power BI? All right, everyone, my name is Allison Gonzalez. I am a Microsoft certified trainer here at Pragmatic Works. I work on Power BI, Excel, all those great fun things. And one thing that I end up seeing a lot, especially related to creating reports in Power BI, is a lot of people, a very good majority that I see in classes, in virtual mentoring sessions, and just in commentary, talking about making dashboards. Now, that terminology in a lot of places, even like in Excel, where a lot of people come from, makes total sense. They are thinking they have this interactive experience, they've got their data, they've got bar charts, column charts, line charts, all of that stuff, and their KPIs, cards, all of this stuff is set on this page and if stuff is filtered, changing, you got slicers going on, that is going to affect it. But the truth is, Power BI has got to be a little bit different. And in Power BI, there are different things when you're talking about a report versus when you're talking about a dashboard. There's actually two separate items with two separate purposes. Now, a Power BI report, a report is a very in-depth, more so analysis of things. A report in Power BI can be multiple pages. You can put as many pages on it as you want. You can have as many visuals on it as you would like on each page, but you're setting your page size up, whether that's your normal 16 to nine ratio that you see, whether that's letter size, which you're able to adjust it to, making a custom size, you're gonna have page after page filled with visuals. Now, the other great thing with Power BI, with the report, is that it is interactive. Because when I click on a data bar on this bar chart, it is gonna go affect my line chart over here. If I change my slicer, it is going to affect and change everything. I'm gonna set my interaction so I can have cross filters and cross highlights going on between these visuals. And that is all fantastic and great, but the name of what I'm doing, the name of what I'm working, and what I have built in the Power BI desktop is called a report. Now, when you're like, but I'm used to being in Excel, I make dashboards, that seems like the same thing you're saying, just the terminology is different. And yeah, it is. If everyone in your organization is used to calling it one thing, well then great, that's kind of your internal terminology that you are using. But once your team kind of is on Power BI and in the Power BI service, they're going to see things and they're gonna see things labeled report and then they're gonna see things labeled as a dashboard. So a dashboard is very different from a report in Power BI terminology terms. So in Power BI, when you are in the Power BI desktop, all you're making in the desktop is a report. That's the only thing that you're building there. When you publish your report from the Power BI desktop into the Power BI service, aka powerbi.com, the all-powerful cloud, once it is there, you're able to use the data, the visuals that you had in that report that you made in the Power BI desktop to then make a dashboard in the Power BI service. Now, a dashboard is more of that higher level, overarching view of your information. And if you're like, well, I mean, that's kind of what my report was. It was this high level thing. Another key difference between, in Power BI, a report and a dashboard is that on a dashboard, those visuals have no interactivity between each other. I could have, and also, I'm not getting multiple pages. So unlike my report where I can have all of these pages and all of these visuals on each page, in a dashboard, I am not getting that. I have one space, and of course I can zoom out and see a lot of it, but it's a high level overview. It's not supposed to be crammed with all different things. It's supposed to be very limited, just the important metrics that you are tracking are going to go on there. Now, 
because it's kind of the main important things here, another difference between reports and dashboards is that there's no interactivity. If I click on any data bar, any point on a visual on my dashboard, instead of it filtering or changing or modifying any of the other visuals on my page, like it does when I'm in a report, now it's going to take me back to that report. So my visual that I have pinned from my report onto my dashboard is now going to serve as a direct link back to that report to the exact page of the report I might add, which is very convenient. But there's no interactivity, there's no cross filtering, no cross highlighting between that. But depending on what your end user is expecting, that could be fine. They might just wanna look at it, see the metrics, and go on with their day. But if they're expecting a little bit more analysis, a bit more hands-on filtering ability to have, and they want that, then you do actually need to build a Power BI report. Now what you call it and tell it to them, you can say whatever you want for that, but in Power BI terms and in the list and how everything will be labeled, you will just have distinct report and dashboard labels, which if you call it something different internally, could end up being a bit confusing for your team. So let's head over into the Power BI service and I'm gonna walk you through this. So if you're like, I still don't know the difference, Let's go take a look and see. We're gonna look at a report, look at that interactivity, look at how that's moving, and then see how we can create a dashboard with visuals from that so we could track some metrics, organize that, and how if we went to kind of spruce up our dashboard, because that's truly what we're looking for and looking to make, what we can do with that. Now I am gonna have a whole entire episode on dashboard design later on in our series once we get through a bunch of report design options, but before we got into any of our designing, I did want to make this difference clear between the two since I see these names kind of thrown around a lot and used kind of interchangeably, even though in Power BI terms, they are not. So let's head over into the service. I am in the Power BI service. I am in a report that I have created and put in the Power BI desktop and published out to the Power BI service. And in this report, I can click on anything and I can see the rest of my data changing, click on different places, see how that is reacting. This allows me to have bookmarks saved that I can click on and change. I can set up custom tool tips for this. I can have drill throughs to go down into different levels of data. I have the ability to have spotlights on lots of great stuff is available in a report, multiple pages, bookmarks linking all those things, those custom tool tips, and even those drill through pages that allow me to dig in depth. So this is a report, it is an interactive experience where I can click on one thing, it's going to change others. Got a lot of report building and storytelling features available to me in here. Now, let's talk about a dashboard. You know, you might be like, you know what? I don't need five pages with all of these different things. I only really care about certain metrics. Like, let's say we want to track this one. Well, to make a dashboard, it is very simple. Once we have published our report from the desktop to the service, here in the service, we have the ability to make a dashboard. And we get that and we'll see that with this little push pin icon. So literally a little push pin, just like you would see on like a cork board or on a bulletin board, that is what our process is gonna be. We're essentially taking this like a little piece of paper, pinning it up to our board, and then it will have essentially a tag back to this report. So I'm gonna click on this little push pin to pin this visual. If you have existing dashboards, you would be able to select the one you want it to go to or you could make a full new one because inside of your workspace, you can have, just like you can have multiple reports, you can also have multiple dashboards. So some dashboards you might set to record certain items and then you might pin others to different ones. You might pin the same thing different places, have a whole mix of all that, whatever you wanna do. You can also decide if you wanna take your formatting colors from your report or if you wanna just fully format everything on the dashboard, which generally is my preferred option. So I'm gonna click that use destination theme and we'll see how we can modify things on our dashboard. So I'm gonna pin this one, again, pin just like a push pin, and I'm gonna pin a few others just so we fill out our space a little bit better on our dashboard. So I will pin this one, 
and I'm going to choose a destination theme. I'm going to go over here and I'll also pin this one. And we can pin this one as well. So you're being selective. You're going through pinning the important items again. You can consider, and we'll talk about this in another episode of planning out your dashboard design, what elements would be considered and necessary for this high level of view and how you can organize that in the best way. So now that I have pinned all of those items, I can go into this workspace and I can see now I have a dashboard type. So I can see I have a report and I have a dashboard. These are two separate items. My report is my interactive element. This is what I created in the Power BI desktop. The dashboard is what I was just pinning visuals from my report onto. So I'm gonna click on this dashboard now and I can see how that looks. So I can see I have those four visuals on here. Now you're not gonna have the same ability to resize exactly the size you want things to be. Instead, it kind of will fit into its own little grid of space that it can take up. So it's a little bit more controlled in a dashboard. And if you're like, that's a really small space, I feel like I might have a few more things to track than that. Well, you are able to zoom out. And so this kind of is the max amount of space. Would I suggest you take up this much? No, 100% definitely not. You don't need this. You don't need this much space for it. But you do have a little bit more than just those ability to fit maybe like six graphics on here. And then of course you can resize this as much as you need to, depending on what it is. Like if it was a card visual, you could have it a little bit smaller. These are all a bit more data heavy, so they make sense to be larger. Now that we are here in our dashboard, you can see my items up top, and I'm specifically just gonna go to my edit options. Now on this dashboard, I can modify this by adding in web content, an image, like if you wanna put in like a company logo, that's a really cool thing, or maybe you're tracking a particular products metrics. So you want a picture of that product, and maybe a description of what is going on, or even a video, or even real streaming data you can put into this. Also in that edit tab, I'm the ability to control the theme. Now, we talked about themes in our report building series already. We talked about how we're able to modify them in the desktop. Well, I can also upload a JSON theme here for my dashboard or even download the ones that I've made here. Now I can see I can change this from light to dark to colorblind friendly. So definitely not as many options as we have available to us in the desktop, but we do have a custom one. So in my custom one, I can always upload an image. However, that does need to be an image URL. So you can't just like upload an image, you would have to link to an image. I can choose my background color. So if I'm trying to kind of mimic that same look and feel of my report, I could go through with that. You can also set your tile opacity in here. So if I want to have that same kind of see through background or just like a touch of the space in here, I could organize it like that. Then of course you want to update kind of your font colors to make that legible. And you can kind of play around with that, change it out. Um, and then of course, when you're all done, you can hit save. Now a little downside to this, I can't really adjust some of these points as well as I can like adjust all of my colors and shades and everything like I could in the desktop. But I do have some options for changing things in here. Um, in this edit one, and I can also set my mobile layout as well if I need to. Now, let's talk about functionality because we saw in our report, we click one thing, it immediately is going to filter change everything else. Now, if I click on something, doesn't change it, it just takes me directly back to the report that I was on. Which is great. And because again, the dashboard is a high level overview. If you want more information, then you can go to the report. And again, if I go back over to that dashboard, looking at things, I'm curious about a metric, see what's going on. Maybe I have a text box in here that says, hey, if this drops below this amount or goes over this amount, danger, important, pay attention. 
if I see that and I was like, oh, this is not looking great, I could click on that, take it back to the report and I could dive into the data and see what is going on and figure out that information. So in Power BI, unlike many other programs, a report and a dashboard are different. They are created in different ways and they have different purposes. So again, internally in your company, in your team, you might call a report a dashboard or vice versa. However, pay attention to what they are called in Power BI. That way no one is getting confused down the road when they're like, I'm in here in the desktop and I'm trying to make a dashboard and then I publish it out, but I'm not seeing a dashboard, I'm just seeing a report and kind of misunderstanding that terminology there. So remember, a report is interactive. Anything I click is going to affect anything else on that page. So I specifically turned that ability off. And then when I publish it out to the service, I can pin, like with a push pin, I can pin visuals from my report to the dashboard and then I am able to have that high level overview. Now the great thing about being in a workspace is I can publish multiple reports to the workspace and I can have multiple dashboards as well. And each dashboard can be a compilation of visuals from different reports. So if you're tracking a bunch of metrics that aren't necessarily in the same report, but you want to look at them all in the same place, you could use a dashboard to do that. Now, later on in our series, we're going to get into not only very in-depth building start to finish a report, but we are also going to talk about our edit options and ways we can improve the look of dashboards and the functionality of them as well in the Power BI service. So make sure that you have subscribed so you see when all of our episodes come out and you will be the first to know and get that information. Happy learning and I will see you all in the next episode.